Previously on Melrose Place West. What are you doing here? I thought after I gave you that money, I told you never to come back. I don't understand where all your anger is coming from. We used to be really good friends. That was a long time ago. I think you better get out right now before I call the police. Go ahead and call them. I'm sure they'll really be anxious who was really behind the murders back in L.A., January 1st, 2000. What happened was just an accident. I did not kill them. So I imagine it must be hard dealing with the holidays, especially Christmas, after what happened to Matthew. Don't ever bring that up again. I told you I wanted you to leave. Sure, I'll go. After you give me another 2,000. Is it in here? Kai, I'm warning you. If you show Troy those pictures, you'll regret it. Stop calling me. Why don't you get a life and find someone who loves you and stop blackmailing me? Well, Troy, I guess it's time I start sending you a few pictures. Please, God, don't let Kai ruin what I have with Troy. I love him so much. If I lose him, I don't know what I would do. I gotta find a way to get those pictures. Maybe I should break into his apartment and follow him. Perfect. Here he comes now. Good. Thanks, Kai. Now I know where you live. I just gotta find a way to break into your apartment and seal those pictures and all the negative. Then you'll have nothing against me. I'm sure you just got him lying around. Oh, where's he going now? I hope he's not going to show Troy the pictures. Looks like he's just going to work out. Jason's coming back to stir things up. Well, no one's gonna learn the truth. I promise you that. No one will learn the truth. There's one person I have to tell the truth to. I know you'd want it that way. Thanks again, Troy, for helping me move. I really appreciate it. No problem, man. Moving's a bitch. Well, at least you only live a few doors down. We can kick it more often. Maybe have a few drinks or something. I mean, I get a few more leads on that case. I'm really sorry, Troy, to be honest with you. I'm really sorry about accusing your sister. Don't you ever think about anything but work? Yeah, actually. Now that I live here, maybe I can hook up with that blonde. You know, what, what's her name, Valerie? Yeah, but you know what? Actually, she's been keeping kind of a low profile, so I don't know. She might be with somebody. Hey, why don't we just go ahead and leave this here? We just got one more load. And we'll come right back. Hey, sis, what are you doing here? Merry Christmas, bro.
doing here? Well, what do you think? I'd be away from my family on Christmas? Well, how's my leg been treating you? I love it. I think I might actually have a walk-in part on days. That's hella cool. How the heck do you manage that? I got my ways. Whose apartment is this? Oh, it's a sergeant from my uh, academy. I just started that. Sergeant Mike Smith. He's just moving in. Mm -hmm. I actually have had my first training day already. It's been pretty cool. Would you like to come along for a ride along? No, that's okay. No. I'll pass on that one. Oh, that's <laughs> Oh, wait. Speak of the devil. Hey, Miles. This is my sister, Summer. Summer, this is Miles. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. The sergeant, huh? Wow, I bet you have a lot of stories. Yeah, actually. Good thing you came back, actually. I've been having some problems with my last case. It's been really just, it's been crazy. It's been really a lot on my mind. Maybe you can help me out. What case is that? Your ex's murder, Chad Carlton. After the investigation on Chad's body, they found out and concluded that he was actually murdered, not suicide. That, wait, that doesn't make sense. First this whole Tracy dies, and now Chad? What's going on? Well, my bet's on that Veronica Lodge. She's behind this whole thing. Someone unleashed a swarm of bees on her in the laundry room on Halloween. Well, I guess that puts her in the clear, then. You know what, I really don't want to hear about this right now. It's Christmas Eve, let's just all have some fun. You're right. 
I need to liven this place up. So you guys want to go with me and get a Christmas tree? That sounds like fun. Let's go. You know, I'm glad to see you, sis. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Summer, I'm beginning to want to get something off my chest. This has been kind of haunting me for a while. What's it? Tell me what happened on Halloween night. Tell me you didn't kill Chad. What is Josh up to? Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. By the way, I'm Miles Smith. Valerie Jameson. Nice to meet you. Are you all alone on Christmas morning? Unfortunately, yes. So what's a beautiful woman like yourself doing all alone on Christmas? It's a good question. I wish I knew the answer. You know, I've only had three people in mind. I thought Veronica because she might have found out about you guys and wanted to kill him. Chad, I'm tired of you cheating on me and everyone else. I want you to write this note that you killed Tiffany. But Veronica, I thought you were. Do it. Here's your damn note. Get in the car. It's over between us, you crazy woman. And then I thought it might have been Josh because he's been acting kind of strange lately. Hey, Chad. Hey, Josh. What's up? Uh, not a whole lot. Sorry to do this to you, but I had an uh, addiction notice. <laughs> Dude, what's this about? You know what I mean, I'm having some tough times. I told you that. You know I mean? I'll get the money to you. Yeah, I can't wait anymore. What's that? What are you doing with the gun, Josh? You to kill Tiffany. I didn't kill Tiffany. I'm going to write this note saying you killed her. I thought this was an eviction notice. Yeah, write the note saying you killed Tiffany. But I didn't do it. Just write it. All right. There you go. Get in the car. <laughs> Sorry I had to do this, Chad. Well, then I kind of thought it was you. Summer. Summer, what are you doing here? Chad, I want you to write this note. What's all this about? I want you to write a note that said you killed Tiffany. Do it. All right. <laughs> what are you doing with that gun? You'll find out if you don't write it. Troy, I have something to tell you to sit down. This is pretty hard for me to say. Halloween night, I had a little too much to drink. I killed him. I did it. But Troy, that's why I'm coming to you. You're my older brother. Listen, I found out he was cheating on me. Not by one girl, but two. So I guess 
I just had a lot to drink and I couldn't control myself. Well, what kind of juice? How the heck did you get a gun? I took it from your jar. What? I'm sorry. Why would you do something like that to me? I hope you don't hate me now. I'm so sorry. I can't believe you'd actually kill someone. But Troy, as my big brother, please, I'm begging you, don't turn me in. I'm a police officer now. What do you expect me to do? I'm your little sister. It's not that easy. I could be an accomplice in this thing. They could think I'm involved in it. My gun's there. You used it. Troy, it's Christmas. I'm so scared right now. I just want to be with my family. You know, we better stop talking about this because Miles is going to be back pretty soon. Okay. I'll figure something out. Thank you. He mentioned that he might be involved. I can't believe it. I don't understand. I still can't believe it. Because I, I really don't want to go to jail. I'm so scared. But thank you. I love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Matthew. Don't worry. I'll figure out some way to get rid of Jason. He's not going to destroy my life. I've got to think of a plan. brilliant of you to sell those pictures out of his apartment. Now he'll have nothing against me, and me and Troy are going to have a great Christmas. 